Hello and welcome to Military Mayday. We're pointing out a few pieces on the chessboard. What you're looking at right there is a patrol ship of Project 22160 of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. I'm not sure if that's the Bayoun cruise missile or the other name I can't really pronounce. But it's one of two ships that were hit by mines. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, mines. Yeah, they look pretty armored up. I mean, they look like some kind of a cruiser or battleship. I don't know, a battleship, but a fast cruiser or something. But uh, mines is what has gotten them. Let's read on it here. Ukraine hits Russian Bayan cruise missile carrier and Pavel Dershinvian vessel with drones. The security service of Ukraine, together with Ukrainian Navy, has attacked the Bayoun cruise missile carrier and the ship Pavel using experimental weapons on an on uncrewed surface vessel. Sources the Ukrainska Prada sources of security services of Ukraine. Details are Ukrainska Pravda sources of the security of the confirmed uh, the 13th October attack on the Russian Bayoun missile carrier and the blowing up of the Pavel Dershinvian on the 11th of October with the work of the SSU in cooperation with the Ukrainian Navy. The security service has not d disclosed any details yet, but added that both vessels were hit by sea Navy drones with experimental weapons. Quote from one of the organizers with these special operations after first explosion russian minesweepers and divers were able to detect our our know-how yesterday all rosa submarines were luckily lucky and managed to escape our inventions so far <clears throat> trying to put that one together still the bayoun cruise missile carrier was unable to repeat all rosa's heroic deed and was hit by experimental sea baby drone weapons at the Sevastopol raid today. The SSU warns the Muscovites not to sail in the Ukrainian waters if they want to preserve at least some remnants of their fleet. As reported, massive occurred in the city of Sevastopol, Russian occupied Crimea on the 13th. It was heard even in remote parts of the city. Mikhail something Russian appointed sham head of Stahl claimed that the explosions were suddenly related to the Russian military exercises. The Crimean Wind Telegram Channel initially reported an explosion on the Russian Bayoun M missile carrier and posted a video of the ship in smoke on the 11th of October. The Pavel, a patrol vessel from the Russians' Black Sea fleet, was damaged in the Black Sea near the occupied. It's a vessel. I, I, I thought they were uh, mines from, from, I was reading a couple other different stories, but uh, I got the end of the row there. Pravda is a place where you can fill the most up-to-date information about everything related. Yeah, if you can. It must be using translation software or something. It just don't seem right. Uh, the second ship of Russia's Black Fleet Sea exploded on a naval mine in the sea, a naval mine in the Sevastopol raid in three days. Another ship of the Black Sea Fleet Russian fleet was damaged at the roadstead for the temporary occupied Sevastopol. This is evidenced by videos and photos circulating on the internet. Well, don't tell me it fucking rose every okay. There she is smoking. Now, it looks like low to the side. How much water is it taking on? I mean, a mine would... How did it hit it from the, from the back? See, that's the thing. This says a mine. That says experimental weapons. And I'm kind of pushing towards experimental weapons. They show a Project 22160 ship patrol smoke building above it. In addition, it is known that local residents heard the sound of a powerful explosion. It should be noted that information has already spread in the mass media that the Bayoun class Corvée is a carrier of the Calibra cruise missile, but in the photo, it is a Project 22160 patrol ship. 
It is also reported that minesweepers headed to the roadstead of Sevastopol off the well and evacuated from the damaged ship by a helicopter. Okay. There she is. Armored up, sucker. We would like to add that there are four Project 22160 patrol ships in the Black Fleet of the Russian Federation. I'm not going to try to count say the names. The ship's remain armament is a 76 millimeter AK-176 MA naval gun. Despite the fact that these Russian Federation declared the possibility of installing a module with a cruise missile launcher on the ship, which should be installed in the stern, currently these ships are not equipped with it. So that's just the regular guns. Just more of this attacks on Russia. Just, I mean, I'd probably start putting back a little bit of food or something, people, if I were you. You know, you know what I mean? Kind of get a little ready. Never know. Anyway, toodaloo.